today's video i am going to explain modular inequality so this topic is related to matrices and this is from discrete mathematics so the statement states that if l is a finite set and less than or equal to p the relation on this set is a lattice then for a comma b comma c belongs to the set l so this is l it is a finite set i am taking a comma b comma c and see here there is double implies so we have to assume a less than or equal to c and we have to prove that a join b meet c less than or equal to a join b meet c and once again conversely we have to suppose a join b meet c less than or equal to a join b meet c and we have to prove that a less than or equal to c and see here so what is given first of all let L less than or equal to B L lattice. So this is given, and A comma B comma C belongs to the set L. And now our assumption is: let us assume. See here. Let us assume A less than or equal to C. So this is A less than or equal to C. This is assumed. And now to prove that, so which one we have to prove? to prove that so this inequality we have to prove that is a join b meet c less than or equal to this is a join b meet c so this is to be proved and see here what we have to take so first of all what is given here a less than or equal to c and see according to a less than or equal to c c is greater element than a therefore according to the definition of a join c so which is bigger a is bigger or c is bigger so a join c is equal to c so now we need to prove this one so now i am considering the distributive inequality according to the distributive inequality c according to the distributive inequality we have a join this b join c b meet c is less than or equal to in my previous video i made this video so this is a join b less than or equal to this is a join b meet a join c so this is a join c see according to the distributive inequality so this is already proved in my previous video see have a look at those and i am taking this distributive inequality and in place of a join c i am writing c since we have since we have a join c is equal to c so i am substituting the same thing therefore a join b meet c less than or equal to this is a join b meet c so this is what it is asked to prove that so this is the inequality which we have to show so this was proved see here therefore so therefore what is taken our assumption is a less than or equal to c a less than or equal to c and we proved a join b intersection c is less than or equal to here c a join b meet c and this is number 1 equation equation number a and now conversely we have to suppose that see here converse of the theorem conversely suppose that conversely suppose that this time we have to assume this inequality we have to assume this inequality and we have to show a less than or equal to c and conversely we have to suppose that see here which inequality we have to take this one a join b meet c less than or equal to a join b meet c so i assume this one i'll prove a less than or equal to c that is also very simple and to prove that so what we have to prove that a is less than or equal to c so this is what we have to show that so by definition so by definition of least upper bound so we have a less than or equal to a join b meet c by the definition i wrote so since we have a join b intersection c is less than or equal to this one see here i am using this one so this if i construct this one so from 1 so if it's 1 from 1 instead of a join b intersection c i am taking a join b 
me C and by the definition of C here by definition of this is greatest lower bound so this value is less than or equal to C so have started with A and see what what is the result A less than or equal to C so we got this one now what we have to write therefore what is our assumption we assumed this one that is a join b meet c less than or equal to a join b meet c and we proved a less than or equal to c and this is equation number b so from 1 and 2 so here if you see I have taken a less than or equal to c and have shown proved this inequality and after that I have taken this inequality and I have shown a less than or equal to b. So from a and b, see here from a and b we can conclude that a less than or equal to a less than or equal to c double implies a join b intersection c is less than or equal to a join b meet c. See here A join B meet C less than or equal to A join B meet C. So this is nothing but modular inequality. This is nothing but modular inequality. See here it's very simple. So L is a finite set and less than or equal to with the relation of on the set is a lattice. L less than or equal to is a lattice. So I have taken three elements here A comma B comma C belongs to L. See A less than or equal to C double implies a join b meet c less than or equal to a join b meet c so what is given here l less than or equal to l less than or equal it be a lattice so i have taken three elements a comma b comma c belongs to the lattice and and now i'll assume a less than or equal to c and i'll show this inequality since a less than or equal to c c here according to the definition a join b is equal to c so this join is nothing but by the definition it is the least upper bound. So upper bound here is C. Next I have taken distributive inequality. So this is the distributive inequality. A is distributed to B and A is distributed to C. See here since we have A join C is equal to C straightly I kept A join C. So this is nothing but so we got what is required. So this is required to prove and we got the same thing after substituting in the distributive inequality. So I have taken A less than or equal to C and have shown towards this one. So this is equation number A. And now this time I have to assume this inequality and I have to show A less than or equal to C. See here conversely we have to suppose that A join C here A join B intersection C less than or equal to A join B meet C. <coughs> So A join B meet C. Now we have to prove that A less than or equal to C. See here by the definition of least upper bound A is less than or equal to A join B meet C. So which is less than or equal to C here. So this is nothing but from equation 1. So instead of writing this I wrote this one. And according to the definition of the greatest lower bound C here this is less than or equal to C so we got a less than or equal to C and this is equation number B so from 1 and B we can conclude it's a double implies so the, using this one so there is if a example here see here this is also very very important example for this check whether the following lattice is modular or not so this is the given lattice so here is the solution so in this lattice what are the elements there so it is very clear that the elements are 0 1 a1 a2 and a3 see here the elements of the lattice are this is 0 1 a1 a2 and a3 so we have to check whether it is a modular matrix or not so according to the modular matrix so we have to prove this relation so what is this a join b meet c is equal to see here a join b meet c so this relation should be satisfied in order to show that it's a modular lattice so first of all in case one so case one i'm taking the elements as uh, see here i'm taking as a zero a1 a3 so zero 
so 0 a1 a3 and now i'll prove so in place of this we have to substitute and we have to check whether it is satisfied or not the first element a is equal to 0 b is equal to a1 and c is equal to a3 now i'll substitute in this equation a join b meets c is equal to this is a join b meet c so now i'll substitute so here what is a here so a is nothing but 0 what is b here a1 meet c is nothing but a3 see here what is a it is 0 join what is b here this is a1 meet a3 so it's very simple this is 0 join a1 meet a3 see here a1 meet a3 so meet is nothing but the lower bound here so where they meet here 0 so this is 0 0 join a 0 join a1 so out of this what is the upper bound here for join it is the upper bound that is a1 so this is a1 meet a3 coming to this 0 join 0 is 0 and here a1 meet a3 a1 meet a3 for this the lower bound is again 0 so 0 is equal to 0 so it is satisfied so this is satisfied And the next one case 3 if I take so if I take uh, case 3 so case 3 I have selected 3 elements so in this set I have chosen 0 a2 and a3 now I will substitute so in in place of a there is 0 in place of b there is a2 and in place of c there is a3 so what is the relation here a join b meet c is equal to a join b meet c now i have to substitute all the values so in place of a we have 0 in place of b we have a2 meet c what is c here a3 so in place of a we have 0 in place of b we have a2 and in place of c we have a3 now see from the figure see here from the figure we have 0 join so a2 a3 so this is a2 and this is a t meet means so here meet so it is the lower bound so it is 0 is equal to see here 0 a2 so this is 0 and this is a2 so join join means the upper bound a2 so this is a2 meet a3 so for 0 join 0 is 0 and a2 meet a3 so this is a2 and a3 so meet means the lower bound here 0 so 0 is equal to 0 and this is satisfied the property here is satisfied so if you take any three elements so next time i am taking the other elements so case 3 so if i take case 3 in this set i have uh, taken the elements here a2 a3 and 1 so in this case what is a value so a is equal to a2 b is equal to a3 and c is equal to 1 and in which formula we have to substitute here a join b meet c is equal to a join b meet c now i'll substitute so what is a here a2 join b means a3 meet 1 what is a here a2 join b means a3 meet this is 1 so now what is here a3 1 so this is a3 and this is 1 meet meet means the lower bound here a3 so a2 join so out of all these what is the least one a3 is equal to a2 a3 a2 a3 so this is join out of a2 and a3 see here out of a2 and a3 what is an upper bound here so for both of these it is 1 and the next one it is meet 1 so a2 a3 see here this is a2 and this is a3 join means again the upper bound here this is 1 and see here 1 meet 1 it is again 1 so therefore this is also satisfied so if you take any three elements modular property holds good therefore the given lattice is a therefore 
the given lattice which lattice it is 0 1 a 1 a 2 a 3 so so this is the lattice so this is a 1 0 1 this is a 3 and this is a 2 is a is a modular so here see here it is a modular lattice and this is how we have to solve each and every problem see here this is join so this is meet meet means lower bound and join means upper bound so like that we have to check the figure and we have to equate those so if it's satisfied if you take any three elements in this given set and this property holds then we say that the given lattice is a modular lattice and thank you so much for watching if you really like you know what to do please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you didn't understand you please go through once again and you'll be very confident and thank you so much